So welcome back drifters. So obviously if you can tell my garage is a total mess. Basically this last couple months and the projects that we've been working on between the W and the RX-7 everything else it just basically leaves this place looking like a complete disaster. So my goal for today is I'm going to be cleaning this up but that's not really what the video is about that's just kind of what I'm doing. The real point of this video is I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what we're going to be doing in the future. Some of the plans we have for some of our builds and you know just kind of laying out the groundwork but before we do that i'm gonna get started cleaning all this stuff up should be a singular build the. yeah build the instead of builds it should be cause... build the and then cars yeah <laughs> yeah because the big thing is the mustang that's that's the, the whole point of cleaning this whole room up is because it i know it's been probably a year since we did the video about it but we've got a 67 mustang that we've got sitting um, and it's been sitting for the last year. The whole point of doing the W and the RX-7 was so that way we could have the garage clear for the Mustang to focus on the Mustang. To have it, because it's going to be in here in a while. Yeah. So pretty much what's happening is we're cleaning this area up as best we can to make room because a 67 Mustang is a little bit bigger than an RX-7 and a BMW. So we need to we need to make sure we got space and that we know where we're going to put everything so we have room for it. Uh, because this is really all the space we have to work with. I mean, we're doing it all in the garage with the limited tools that we have, but we're gonna make it work. So we're just gonna get started cleaning and we're just gonna go from there. So we were getting through here and we started thinking, we were like, okay, where do we wanna put the Mustang? Do we wanna have it centered in the garage? Do we want it kind of going sideways? Do we want it at an angle? So Austin's looking up the measurements. Um, so yeah, I was looking it up. So overall length is 183.6 inches which when you divide it by 12, you'll get your feet, which is 15.3, which is pretty much 15 and a half. So 15 and a half feet long, and then it's 70.9 inches wide. 72 inches is six foot, right? Yeah, something so like that. So it's less than six feet wide. So width, I'm not too worried about. I'm worried about length, so I need a tape measure. Yeah, because what we're working with here, I mean, we've got a pretty decent space going out and then coming in. The only other thing I was thinking is this. What if we moved all of, leave this here and then like move this stuff. If we could move these engine parts and stuff, but yeah. there. Cause see, we got a bunch of crap here. All that extra length we just made. Yeah, if, so, if all this was not against the wall and then we or moved it. if this was against that wall. Yeah, the only thing is then we're gonna have to move the metal. Yeah. Which, uh, that could be done. So the basic here. idea is just that we don't have a lot of space. So we'll that. see how this goes. Um, I'm gonna get myself, should I get myself? How, how many feet is it? With me just standing here right now, this is like 13 feet to me. That's, is that how big it is? It's 15. Oh my God, is it really 15 feet? This is a long ass car, are you kidding me? That back that there. up to the back that up to the workbench. To the workbench? I'm on the workbench at the very edge. That's, okay, I'm gonna move this straight to the edge of the garage, right? This right. is, this is edge of the garage. All right, we have about six inches of play. Oh my God, so we're definitely gonna have to rearrange some stuff. All right, well, we're gonna go take a look at this real quick and then we'll be right back. Okay, so what we found out is that basically it's gonna be too deep. Luckily, this garage is square, so it's like 18 and a half feet by 18 and a half feet. But what we're losing the distance is because this storage thing back here sticks out about two or two and a half feet, and that sticks out for about two to two and a half feet. So the problem is that we're losing depth because we're already losing width over here. So the idea is we're gonna take all this stuff along this wall and we're gonna move it over to this wall because. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's just the most efficient way we can do it to where we still have the room because the Mustang isn't very wide It's just long so if we do that that should give us an extra couple feet so we can get in behind it and around it And uh, on top of that we're trying to make extra space by I'm taking pictures of this RX-7 diff We got the Miata diff we got these parts the Miata uh, BMW engine trans all the way We're keeping the trans aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna keep we're the keeping ZF the because we think that'll be good for the Mustang and then we're getting rid of the oil pan. That's for an E30, right? Or is that yeah, this, okay, so this oil pan, I don't know if any of you guys are interested, but this is a oil pan. It's a front sump oil pan for, you can use it on M50, M52 engines. Um, but a lot of people do it when they swap these into E30s. I don't have any use for it, but I need to sell it because it's just, it's just sitting here taking up space. So if any of you guys are interested, you know, hit me up down in the comments. So, you know, there is, there is options out there, or if any of you are here locally in Texas, let me know because we also have that spare cylinder head and cams and stuff for the M52. So, I don't know. This isn't supposed to be a sales pitch. How'd this turn into a sales pitch? Wait, what, are you, <laughs> what are you wanting for this stuff? Is it best offer? Oh, for this stuff? Yeah, yeah whatever. 
I don't care. Give me, give me enough money to eat dinner and I'll be happy. <laughs> That's all I want. Like if I could sell this stuff down here, this like, these are like basically junk parts. If I can just get enough to get a good meal out of it, I'll be happy. So basically our plan of action is we're gonna focus on moving all this stuff over to that wall over there. We'll see how it goes. So wish us luck. So we were going through a bunch of stuff and we found some ridiculously old photos of yeah, us. Yeah, we found this little Walmart thing and it's got photos in it and like... But not just photos, like we're talking... Like, like family photos. This is like my high school graduation, so... Yeah, there's a throwback for you. And look, it's the same car. So for those of you that may not have believed me... Circa 2006. There it is. How like, crazy is that? That's ridiculous. That is just nuts. I can't even, and believe it or not, it was just sitting in that bin right there. Yeah. So, just chilling. chilling. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> All right, let's get back to work. All right, so it may not be perfect, but it's definitely a lot better than what it was. So, we're pretty much pretty much finished up with this for now but we gotta go get some food because it is just yeah i haven't eaten too long without food uh, when did i get here today like 10 i don't know so yeah we, eat some food. we gotta get food because we can't even think like our brains just went dumb so that, that noise you heard was someone uh responding about the parts i posted yeah we've also Already. posted a bunch of parts Woo! so we might be selling stuff finally so it's yeah. looking good all this is junk this is all going away yep. this is all trash bunch of trash bunch and of then, um, junkyard scraps and stuff like that we'll get there yeah all right so it evidently took us way longer than what we expected it's dark again but austin's actually inside he's decided to put on some frame sliders on his bike which i think we should probably talk about because i don't think we've even mentioned the fact that austin got a motorcycle uh we both used to ride back in the day I don't anymore, but he's starting to ride again. So I don't think he's really mentioned much about it. You really sounded like a disappointed mother at that point. Like he's starting to ride again. <laughs> well, no, I mean we both ride. I just I quit because of my head problems. I don't even know if these are gonna fit. I got these on Amazon for like twenty dollars, and they said they're universal. I looked at the reviews, and someone put it on my bike, but I don't know if they're lying or not. So yeah, we're gonna have to find out. But for any of you guys that may or may not be into motorcycles, it's a, what is it, an 03? That's a 03 CBR 600 RR. I mean, it's a, it's a nice little bike. It's got a little bit of damage, but it'll work. I it's reliable. A sweet deal on it, too. Yeah, he got it for pretty cheap. But also, I think it's because this is his last semester before he graduates. Yeah. And uh, if you're familiar with Texas and our streets and traffic and stuff, you know that it's pretty terrible, but if you're riding a motorcycle, it's gonna help a lot if you're in those gridlock situations. Exactly. And then I've always, I, I wanted to ride again, I've always wanted to, and I got a good enough deal on this that I can. Um, and it's a bike I'm familiar with, which makes it a little bit easier for me. But when I move, um, whenever I get commissioned and go in the Air Force and whatnot, I don't really wanna ride on a road I don't know. Where San Antonio, I know pretty much all the roads I want to avoid. So it's a little bit safer, in my opinion, that in that regard. Yeah, that's true. So. One down, one to go. Leverage is always your best friend, I wouldn't you say? Me. Oh yeah. We got the James. Look at that sucker. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that little guy. Huh? Maybe I would worry about that little guy. Wow. Oh damn, that thing's long. That don't look right. They look the same. I could just I could just chop this off. Fairings coming out. The funny part about motorcycles and cars is that they're basically the same thing, just kind of arranged in a different way. But all the things are basically the same. I mean, you have brake cylinders, master cylinders, you have your engine, your transmission. It's just arranged in a weird way. Also simpler. Well, to a certain degree. Simple, yet complicated. But the fact that yours is fuel injected, it's a good thing because Having a fuel injected bike is way better than a carbureted one. Ask me how I know. It it was a 01 R1. I think it's the one I had, 01 or 02. Yeah, I can't remember. It was but yeah, it was four separate single barrel carburetors that all had to work in sync with each other. I think they're called McCoonies. And is if that they what weren't Tyler has? Yeah, it's the exact same carb. Yeah. And it it's like in order to get it to function properly, they all have to be balanced in sync with each other. 
and it's a nightmare. If you've ever had to do it, you know what I'm talking about. But when they are running, they're great. I mean, an R1, it had tons of power, but uh, compared to bikes nowadays, probably not, but it still felt amazing. So Let's see if it's this size. here's what I was telling him about. So this is the frame. There's a little spacer inside there. Your engine is right here. So there's a spacer that goes in between. You just gotta loosen this up so we can pull this out and put the new spacer in. It's not as bad as it looks. Careful, you're, gonna, you're breaking the screwdriver, dude. <laughs> Why don't we just get a bolt that's slightly bigger and push it through there, and if we need to reuse it, so be it. Problem is, I'm afraid if we push it this way that we won't have enough room to get it all the way out. Here's, Here's the one's idea. One's Take a bolt through it, put a nut on the other side, and then you can yank on it. Oh, yeah. I'm a motherfucking genius! Not really, but okay. Ah! Yeah, get out of there! Get out of that hole, motherfucker! Yeah, come on! Yeah! Here, you hold the bike. I need two hands for this one. This does not look right. I knew all those years would add up to something! Oh, come on, baby! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, wow. I haven't made very much progress. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna go flying when it lets go. <laughs> Is it working? Oh, yeah. Keep going. Uh, you going. Ah, Jesus! It's getting, yeah, it's getting there. Here, here, here. Oh my god! Yes! One in doubt, yank it out! Wait, that sounds wrong. Motherfucker! Ah. Come on, baby! Yeah! Ooh. yeah. <laughs> and that's how we do it! Woo! That was a workout, holy yeah. shit! <laughs> you want fun, man? Yeah! Ooh. Who needs the gym? Oh, Jesus. I'm out of breath. I'm so out of shape. Us, apparently. <laughs> Does it fit? Hey! Whew, how am I this out of breath? What the hell? <sighs> Jesus. So what we should do is just chop off a little bit off the top. Off yeah, the tip. exactly. Right? Yeah. We gotta nip the tip a little bit. Ah, oh, fuck it. I was an idiot. Oh, Jesus. Did you just touch hot rubber? Yeah, I did. I did. Genius. Mm. Go rinse it off so it doesn't no, burn. Good. It's good. It's already burned. I burned it. I, it was that hot. Yeah, we made. Uh, we yeah. Well, mistakes were made. Yeah. <laughs> just threading it up real quick. So far, it's looking pretty good now. Does it fit through the hole? You may have to manipulate it. Hey, look at that. Yes, sir. Cool. All right. Well, let's just pop this bitch back together. Who would have thought when we started today that we would have ended up working on a motorcycle? I mean, really. This was definitely not the way that we planned this. It just kind of worked out that way. But sometimes that's how things go. Not always the way you plan them. Leave it to drifters to put drift stitches in a motorcycle. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, though. Hey. <laughs> Got it. All right. There it is. Good as new. The wild Austin is preparing for his wild ride through the night. Oh my god. <laughs> I meant to do the headlights today, the HIDs, but I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. It was more important to clean the garage. Yeah, we got most of it done. We just have a little bit to do, but it'll be good. That was fun too. Yeah. I had fun doing that, listening to music, just chilling out. Yep. And getting shit done, not getting angry. Sometimes it's good just to get stuff done like that and clear the head. But also, we think you guys may have wanted to hear what this thing sounds like, because I think it's kind of rude just to show it and not hear it. It's kind of important. Yeah, and it sounds good. The one downside of motorcycles, no reverse. <laughs> not very good. Yeah, it does. Okay. Now for a 30 point turn. <laughs> and that's good. It'll get there eventually. Ride safe. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh man so anyway yeah if you can't tell that means the day's pretty much over so austin left we got most of the stuff cleaned up i think overall we did a pretty good job today it was pretty successful um but yeah so you can see we've got a lot of builds coming the big thing being the mustang but also now we got austin's motorcycle which is more like a side project stuff so you might see a little bit of motorcycle stuff but it's not really the 
main intent for what we're doing, but it's just kind of like one of those things we're going to work on it when we can and when we need to. The Miata should be coming back soon. It's been worked on by at the shop getting tuned and everything like that, and we're just we're just waiting to get it back. So when we know, y'all will know. Um, outside of that, everything else should be good. We're just working on getting rid of parts, cleaning up the garage, and you know, just doing regular life stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like, and I'll be sure to catch y'all in the next one. And just remember, keep it nice and easy. Thank you.